Hi everyone, we're here at the NEP Field Shop in Pittsburgh today. This is where all of the NEP US based mobile units are maintenance. And today we're looking directly at the newest fully IP TFC powered mobile unit. It is SS10. SS10 was custom built and rolled out earlier this year to support NBC's coverage of the NBA. So much going on at the field shop today, but we have time to give you an exclusive tour of SS10. Let's go take a look. Now we're gonna have to find a tour guide to take us through this wonderful mobile unit. And we found someone, it's our good friend, Nick. Hi, Nick. Hey, Jordan, how are you? Good, this is Nick DeLomo. He's a development manager here for NEP Americas. Nick wears many hats, one of which is being involved in all of NEP's IP2110 projects. Right. Nick, thank you so much for joining us. Let's take a tour of SS10. Sure, I'd love to. Uh, well, let's start here in audio. Uh, we've got our Cowric Argo surface uh, backed with a uh, with two Cowric Impulse cores. Let's move forward. Yeah, so much to see in here. Yeah, I'll let so you lead the way. Let's walk through production here. This is where uh, the magic happens before we see it on, before we actually see it at home. We've got space for the CD director, producer, AD, um, and they are, they're the ones calling the shots, they're the ones switching cameras, and they're actually producing the image that you see at home. And all of NEP's mobile units are built here in Pittsburgh. All the here finer Pittsburgh. details. Yep, all, all yeah. custom made uh, here in Pittsburgh. That's right. A beautiful looking production gallery. All right, let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Here in Replay, uh, Replay is a space where uh, all the replays at home that you see, if you see it again and again, if you see it slowed down, sped up, we've got super mo or high high frame rate uh, replay as well. Any review comes out of this room. Uh, we have space for ADVS nine operators with some overflow space in ST10. And if you follow me this way and poke your head in, you'll see video. Yeah, we'll poke in here. Yeah, video is where um, three operators or up to three operators um, will shade cameras to make them all look the same so that they're, when they're intercut they all look uniform. Um, SS10 is wired for 22 CCUs and of course three three operating positions with overflow uh, in ST10 as well. But I'd really love to show you the engineering area and this is my favorite. Yeah this is your sweet spot here. <laughs> yeah and so if you poke your head back there the engineering area is really the heart and soul of any of any production truck. Um, and SS10 is really cool because it's NEP's newest uh, TFC enabled IP uh, IP truck. And TFC is is NEP's homegrown um, broadcast orchestration platform. And that with that, uh, we've been able to enable any workflow that we could possibly imagine. And I'd love to show you what it looks like. So come on, come on in. Let's take a look. So these servers here. Are, are the embodiment of TFC. So we've got multiple servers here uh, running a TFC cluster and able to give us some amount of fault tolerance redundancy. But this is also the main connection point, the main grain of the truck that talks to absolutely everything else. For down here, for example, we've got the Arpona AT300, which is a uh, solid general purpose uh, audio video processor. We can shuffle audio, color correct video, do LUTs, uh, SCI, NCAP, DCAP, very versatile unit. Up here, also controlled by uh, TFC, is the Arcona Manifold. This is what we use for the multi-viewer uh, inside the truck. Very powerful, very expandable, actually. We have two spaces that we could add additional processing cards to really up our, uh, our capacity. And this is, uh, this is really the router now, uh, as opposed to the past where we've had a giant refrigerator we now have the spoke uh, bespoke switches for this. And up here, we can see that any key has designed this for scalability, for expansion. We still have some ports available. We still have some things that are otherwise not utilized. And this is so that if we have a project that, uh, a project that comes up that requires extreme external capabilities, like for example, we had a, tr uh, a show a couple months ago uh, called Ryder Cup. And with that, the client requirement was that we had to add two additional trailers into this two trailer unit. So what we were able to do is we were able to swap these out with larger switches and connect those in uh, just like they were part of the truck. And it was really, really a simple 
simple cast uh, once once we got you know once we figured it out um, but it went really well and uh, we're gonna be doing it a lot more yeah that was an amazing delivery I see the flag here a little yep. celebratory yep. for all the crew we've got uh, all of the engineering uh, all of the engineering signatures yeah that was a full range of NEP media services Nick you were on site at the Ryder Cup for the duration congratulations great job to the team and to NBC what an incredible delivery all right Absolutely. so let's come on out here you can talk a little bit about um, about how the truck can work for different scales of production SS10 and similar trucks are all built to be able to handle giant shows but can also scale down for smaller shows um, and we have space dedicated for uh, specific client equipment for example this client has provided a network stack that allows us intercom file transfer um, and other services um, back to their main uh, production center, in this case, it's in Stanford. Um, and we also have video encoder, B code capabilities um, provided by the client as well, uh, going back to Stanford. And this can be, I believe, this is 48 feeds going to them, wow, eight return feeds. And so we could do a full Remy production um, right out of the truck. And the cool thing about this box in particular is that it is fully integrated into TFC. So as far as the engineers um, are aware, we are routing this like any other destination. Um, and it really is easy and part of, it's just part of the truck. It's, it's nothing special, it's just part of the truck. Um, and that is one of TFC's angles is to be able to empower um, is users, operators, everyone, um, and to show them how simple it actually is. And I've actually got a demo to show you if you want to go in there. All right, we're gonna we're gonna do some TFCing. Well, it's all about simplifying, right? For anyone, yeah. So you're waiting. Okay, I'm gonna sit in the director's chair there. You're gonna, I'll be in the hot seat here. The hot minute. seat. Thank you, Nick. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna change that multi viewer right there. We're just gonna go from a nine box to a four box, but it really is truly this simple. So if you want to click on multi view right there, okay and then select our monitor so that's going to be uh mv17 from mv17 and so right now we're on a nine box but we want to go to a four box so if you want to select the four box layout now let's do quad box yeah and then let's go to uh if you want to click update layout then it'll actually send the changes and there it is and there it is it it truly is that simple wow and it's all about simplifying ip2110 in a broadcast environment you can see it here so this is what literally would be happening during a live production. Absolutely, yeah. The goal is that um, anyone anyone can do this. So TDs, directors, A1s, replay operators, V1s, anyone um, can do this on their own truck. And you, you just get a tablet and, and it's really, really easy to, to get going. Uh, 2110 hasn't always been easy, but I think with TFC, we really have simplified it um, and made it easy, reproducible and uh, yeah, really just a pleasant experience. Yeah, and the amazing observation, I'll, I'll say, of course, mobile units, the heritage, the pride of NEP for decades and decades, but now you have this incredible integration of, of software solutions, TFC, and that's really taking all this to the next level in terms of being a full range of services for any production, any size. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, TFC, TFC has so many things written into it just for mobile units. We have some very special workflows here in the States, um, but TFC is up to the challenge. And uh, together where we're at is actually pretty great. Incredible. And we said at the top, Nick, uh, you're working today. You're actually yeah. working on a project here on SS10. So we thank you for your time, but I will say we're gonna see much more of you. You're gonna be a featured panelist at the SVG Summit in New York City beginning December 15th. You'll be on one of the IP 2110 discussions. We're excited to hear that. Yeah, me too. I'm excited to meet with the other panelists, have some great discussions, uh, see some really cool people, and see some other great chats. So I'll see you all there. I'm sure we'll hear much more about TFC, about SS10, about the Ryder Cup. Great stuff ahead and great innovations ahead in 2026 from this team here in the Americas. Nick, thanks so much for your time again. Thanks, Jordan. I'll see you next time. Hey, this was a lot of fun. We do have to take it out, but thank you so much for joining us today for this tour of NEP's SS10.